The Five Nights at Candy series is one of the most amazing games in the Fazbear fanverse. From FNAC 1 in July 2015, to the love letter that is FNAC Remastered released in August 2019, the series has produced four incredible games and become one of the most successful FNAF fan games. Today though, we'll be looking ahead at the future of what FNAC brings, how it's going in a new direction and what to get excited for. Also, if you hear any loud bangs in the background, or any sort of noise that isn't coming from my mouth, then that's because I've chose to record this on bonfire night and um, there's fireworks. So that was smart, but we make do. Here's a recap of everything so far. If by some chance you have no idea what FNAC is, it's essentially Five Nights at Freddy's but with its own unique twist within each of its games. For example, Candy's 1 is a lot like FNAF 1, but Candy's 3 is more of an adaptation on FNAF 4 rather than a complete replica. Candy's 1 was in an office, 2 was in a warehouse, 3 was in the bedroom, and Remastered was exactly what it says on the tin. A revamp of the first game. The man behind the games goes by Emil Mako, a Danish game developer and it's actually his birthday today. Happy birthday Emil. So what does the future of FNAC look like? First off, we have the long-awaited Five Nights at Candy's Fall, the next instalment in the franchise. It's a point-and-click free roam game inspired by Sister Location, made with Click Team. As some of the more loyal Freddy's fans out there, you may know Click Team have been extremely busy with FNAF content recently, and with the newfound hype around the franchise from the movie, we may see Emil have more motivation developing Candy's Fall again. This game was announced around five years ago now, which is a long time to wait which means there is a ton to look forward to and get excited about. Sister Location is a lore-packed game, so we could expect FNAC 4 to follow the same format, with the animatronics seemingly being titled under the forgotten name. We could see potentially a Fazbear's Fright sort of situation, where the protagonist visits a location years later. If you aren't caught up with the FNAC lore, let me quickly fill you in. The game takes place in 1987, around the time FNAF 2 would have taken place. From what can be seen from the calendar, the game takes place from November 16th, 1987 to November 20th. The Sixth and Custom Nights then take place on November 21st and 22nd. You play as Mary Schmidt, who was once a worker at a robot factory. The animatronics are friendly to children, but act creepily to adults, which is based on the animatronics in FNAF 2. Mary fell asleep on the job at this robot factory, many months prior to her job at Candy's which led to several children being murdered by the rats. The parts that were covered in blood were then used to make the new Candy's animatronics. This is also the reason that Vinny points towards them in the cutscenes between nights. The children who died in the factory have begun haunting Mary for allowing their deaths, and sometime after the incident, Mary took the job at Candy's, where the events of the game then take place. Mary is hunted by the animatronics throughout her week, ending with Mary being fired for tampering with them during the custom night. In FNAC 2 we revisit this factory and the game ends with it being burnt down. In the third game we play as Mary again and as the game progresses the story unfolds that she is having nightmares about the rat and the cat after an altercation she claims she caused at the theatre. So with this in mind we could potentially have a new burgers and fries restaurant, potentially some kind of factory or maybe a warehouse, there is a lot of possibility going forward. My personal prediction would be some kind of factory, simply from this teaser here, and if you know the fan game Killer Knight, it may have the same sort of mechanics to it. However, this game has nothing to do with Mary Schmidt from the original trilogy, or anyone related to her. Her story is done, and instead this time it's going to focus on Robotics Corp which is the company that owned the factory where the animatronics were made, and also having Candy as the main antagonist rather than the rat. With regards to release date, in my previous Candy's videos, I've always just thrown a random date out there, and if I were to do it again, I'd say at least over a year, but in the meantime, there is also another project Emil is creating, and may even be more exciting than FNAC 4. I am of course talking about Five Nights at Candy's fur. This to me looked absolutely amazing. Based on the Candy's Adventure minigame from FNAC 3, Candy and Cindy embark on an adventure to collect furballs. Yeah, you heard that right. Furballs. 
There are furballs absolutely everywhere and you have to collect them up while helping out new NPC characters and defeating new enemies. We have characters like Tilly the Cow, who we may have to do some quests for, and enemies like the Corgi Crew and the Flyfish. There will also be all new boss fights in this game, so of course there will potentially be a bit of challenge for us players. It emphasises a lot on jumping over this first boss called Big Butch, and maybe for the different bosses we'll have to come up with new and inventive ways to beat them based on maybe their design or their abilities. The reason this is going to be great is because it will be a real breath of fresh air, and unlike the other games in the franchise, so this is really going to stand out from the rest because not only is it new mechanics, but it's also a completely different environment. So the last thing is, being a part of the fanverse, every FNAC game is getting revamped and seemingly ported to console and mobile. This of course for free games, and a new addition is a great task, especially when Emil is also working on Pop Goes games. Five years ago, Emil said this, even if the extreme circumstances should take place, where the game wouldn't be done for a whole year from now, just know that it won't be cancelled. And I think the takeaway here is that Emil and the rest of the fanverse devs really put a lot of love and care into their games, and so we should just have some faith in them, and keep waiting because it will definitely be worth it. The last thing I can say is, believe it or not, Emil is a person. They have a personal life and they pretty much have five games to release, including the updated original trilogy, which is of course not going to be completed in a matter of days. It's important to realise that this game will come out eventually, and with any further news or updates, I'll be the first to talk about it here on the channel. Of course, I am extremely excited for FNAC 4, and if you are too, let me know by leaving a like on the video, make sure you come join the Discord, and be sure to subscribe. I've been Alpine, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace. It's time to take your final bow.